no sooner the United States left and, and they made a mess there, the United Nations is coming and telling the world, please help Afghanistan. We need five billion dollars in order to help Afghanistan. Okay, so that is actually good because you know we need to help the Afghan people. This is what I've been telling. Um, we have to support them. I was actually wondering if that is the way the United Nations is behaving. I'm sure they would have done the same thing. Went and did the research. Not a single penny, no, no, nothing. The only thing we have in terms of the UN being involved is the first resolution that came after, I think, eight or six uh, um, days later when we won the war in May. What is this nonsense? This is the militarization they are talking about. Two things I want to say, rather than, oh, I am not agree with that. It's a humanitarian operation. Yes. That is where my, my we are bad. promoting, even in UNHRC, I have several times, you know, repeatedly, my voice, humanitarian operation to safeguard the innocent 285,000 Tamil generation, like general, they took the leadership. Now, militarization, whatever you said, there are five paragraphs here. I want to correct one thing. Now, what they say, the military militarization means most of the ministries, secretaries and the CEOs appointed as the military heads, they have alleged grave violations of human rights. Now what is this? <laughs> which courts which has been proved? This is where we have to fight with our friend nations. I'll read this, right? Uh, in addition to the Ministry of Justice, current or former military officers, including some uh, implicated in alleged grave human rights violation now occupying these places. Uh, foreign affairs, public security, finance, health, wildlife, forest conversation, although these, but luckily uh, Ministry of uh, <laughs> Industries are not there, you are not in this list, luckily, right, thanks. <laughs> so what I want to tell, yeah. all these are the war criminals? Where is the proof? That's why I am asking. This you must fight in Geneva. Because if the if the Sri Lankan it's, government accepted yeah. this, that is mean. No, by you can't accept. The foreign minister in his first speech, totally, you have to, you know, answer this. Now this is where they are trying to take as war criminals. Mm. If these things pass, yes, under B militarization. It is there very clearly allegations only. Now, which courts this have been proved? They, they have done a clear operation under Geneva for convention. They are taking as a human shield, which is talking in Russia now. What Russia is saying, Ukraine keeping them as a human shield so you can save them. Similar thing. So, this is where I, I am telling if any courts, if they have been punished, that is all right. But here, and once again, they say all these things. Uh, another thing I just want to tell. And uh, since June 2020, a task force for archaeological heritage management in Eastern Province, also headed by Defence Secretary. So, I mean, these are where you have to protect no archaeological sites and all. So, this version is not the Sri Lankan government version. This version had been given by some type of an NGO. Anyway, now we have an opportunity. Most of these uh, appointments they explain here. They say definitely uh, another one uh, in December 2021, Army Commander General Shavendra Silva was appointed to implement the President Green Culture Operation. Uh, blah blah like that they say. But how come you see the starting point? That is interfering with internal affairs. Right? Not only that. Why these innocent army generals were categorized as grave human rights violators? Now, where it has happened? Well, they don't have any evidence. But this is where Human Rights Council work. That's why Honorable Donald Trump, hey, come back, my people. This is where they do. I don't want to Fest use that full word. Of Politics. Bias. Yeah, That's the issue. So, if you read Mahish this report, most of these hypothetically without any evidence so i am really really worried about paragraph 15 using that word grave violation of human rights by this appointed major general